Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in San Clemente today, and um, I wanted to come back to this spot that I painted at. Camera's a little off here. Hold on one second there. There we go. I wanted to come back to the spot that I painted at last time where I actually painted um, this tree over here. And um, it's really kind of cool because um, this gentleman named Bob, who uh, he works out kind of using these pillars and things right here. If you remember this scene from last time. Well, he asked if he could work out if it would bother me. I said, of course not. And then so afterwards, he kind of told me that that's sort of his special tree and um, he actually trims underneath it. And um, so I contacted me afterwards and wanted to buy the painting, which I have on the ground right there. So Bob's going to come up and um, so it was kind of a, I wanted to come here anyway, but, um, so we're taking care of two things with, uh, one trip. So today I'm actually going to paint the other direction, which is out this way. And I got to figure out, maybe I'll get a glimpse of it here eventually. I'm not sure where the water line would be, if I could see it, like where the horizon is out there, but beyond that saddle in these hills right here you should actually be able to see the water. So I just have to figure out um, how to accomplish that, get a glimpse of it. Or maybe when, since Bob knows the place so well, maybe when he's here, he'll be able to tell me exactly uh, where that horizon line would be if I could see it. I, I don't wanna, since, since it's kind of smoky, um, I really don't wanna uh, show it different than what it is. I think I just need a, just a slight variation in sky and um, kind of where the water is just enough to tell the story. I don't want to just leave it blank um, as if it's not there at all um, because I feel like I need it for one thing uh, even though I can't actually see it so um, this is kind of a it's kind of cool because you've got all these rooftops and um, kind of terrace hills and things out in here uh, so I'm going to kind of pick up from that peak right here and work my way down and just a little bit past this flat and we've got this hill that's kind of diving off in the foreground basically i see three layers i see this this very foreground right here i'll pick up some of these uh twigs that are going kind of laying down um not as drastic probably as they are there i don't want them cutting all the way through this landscape but and then you've got this hill You've got kind of the green trees and things with the houses in this lower section down here. And then we've got those distant hills that um, have a very distinctive uh, look to them. Um, the values out there are very close together. So I'll be paying attention to that. Of course, I've got the new uh, palette that you probably saw in my last video. And those colors are uh, Hansa yellow uh, light and we've got uh, yellow ochre, uh, alizarin crimson, uh, burnt sienna, uh, fallow blue, green shade, and uh, ultramarine blue. So that's the, that's the palette I'll be working with today and I think it's probably ideal for what I'm looking at. So that's what I'm hoping and that's what I was working on the last time you saw me learning how to use these colors. So I had this place in mind um, and a lot of other places actually. So. Anyway, I'm going to get uh, kind of get a sketch going here and see if we can't um, see if we can't throw something down. All right. Today. It, I've got kind of uh, kind of low clouds just a I 
can see just a touch of uh, blue up in the sky. It's just, I mean, it's clearing as I'm here, so I can see a little bit. Um, I'm going to get the sh what I'm considering the shadow sides of these hills in place. I've got light kind of hitting on this side and this side. Um, I'm going to kind of get these the shadow side in so I can just sort of establish where these planes are and then uh, and then I'm going to figure out kind of how I want to tackle um, these greens and things that are down in here and how they um, they're kind of intermixed with all of these rooftops and I don't need um, these rooftops are just going to be just slight indications of what's here. Not, I'm not really painting the rooftops, so, um, or I'm not focusing on the buildings or all the houses down here. I'm actually trying to focus on you know more kind of what's happening in this area. So, um, yeah. So there's nothing better than uh, jumping in. So that's what I'm going to do. So I believe I'm going to get the sky, kind of get the sky in here first. And uh, so I'm going to try out, I got this new brush um, last week, as you might remember. So I'm going to give that a go today. And I'm just going to touch the fellow blue. I'm just going to start with that anyway. That's exactly what I was hoping for out of this brush. I can just quickly lay this in without a lot of fuss. And that's what I wanted to do. A lot of yellow, a lot of yellow in this lower section down here. Um, refine this as we go.
Hey, so thanks for hanging out with me today. I really do uh, appreciate it, as you know. And uh, there were some uh, things about the scene that I just really kind of fell in love with. And most of all, I am so happy uh, with this palette. I can't even uh, I can't even tell you. I mean, I was I'm able to achieve what I'm seeing so much quicker and easier than I was before. I was having to mix multiple three and four color uh, mixes in order to get close to what I was looking for. And this is just not that way. I'm able to kind of nail it down right away and, and work with it. This foreground hill really made a, a big difference in this piece. And I'll show you uh, what we've got here. Um, hope you can see that okay. Um, Yeah, so uh, lots of really cool uh, earth tones here, and I hope I uh, I did I hope I did just enough uh, just enough to indicate the scene. I think I did. I tried to keep it as simple as possible and not get too complicated. There's so many houses and things. I didn't want to get all wrapped up in that. I just wanted to indicate that there are houses there. Period. And so I did that. And uh, yeah, so that's it for me. And um, as always, I will catch you later.